Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. This video is about uh, uniform circular motion and uh, <coughs> give you introduction about what is period and frequency. As we know, an object is doing circular motion. The period means the period means period use we use t. It means the time it takes an object to complete one revolution. The unit is second. How long does it take an object? to complete one revolution. That is a period. What is frequency? Frequency we use F. The unit is one over second. Or we use Hertz. And frequency describe <coughs> The number of revolutions that the, an object complete in one second. That means how many revolutions in one second to complete rotation in one second. So the relation between period and frequency they are reciprocal. That means you can say t equals 1 over f or f equals 1 over t. Mostly the period we use second when you do calculation use second. But sometimes depend on the situation, right? For example, talking about uh, the earth rotate about the sun, around the sun, it takes one year to rotate once. So that situation mostly we we talk about the period is one year. And if you change it to second is big number, right? <coughs> but we still need uh, using this unit when you do calculation. And uh, so let's look at some examples. So it takes one year for the Earth to rotate around the Sun once. Find the free period and the frequency. The period, as we know, is the time for an object to complete one revolution. So it takes one year. This is the time. So the period is. In this question, you call it one year, then we can convert into second. So one year equals we use three sixty five days, and one day you call twenty four hours, and one hour you call sixty minutes, and one minute you call sixty second. So finally, we got second. We can calculate all this number. We got the answer. Can you look at this one? We use three sixty five multiply twenty four multiply sixty and multiply another sixty. The answer is. 31,536 zero, zero second. So, 31,536,000 second. And the, what the frequency? The frequency is talking about the number of rotation that an object completes in one second. Obviously, for the Earth to rotate around the Sun, in one second just rotate a little bit. But let's calculate. 
frequency. This is the period in one year time frequency. We use F equals you can say one over T because they are reciprocal. We got this one on the bottom thirty one million five hundred thirty six thousand seconds. So we we'll do this one and see just to put the reciprocal you got this answer is three point one seven times ten to the negative eight hertz. So one second just to rotate about negative eight. The other example can say a CD ROM drive spins the disk at 1600 revolution per minute. Find the period and the frequency. This information is talking about 1600 revolution per minute. Obviously, this is give us related to frequency, right? Revolution per minute, 1600 revolution. So the period. Uh, the frequency equals 1600 revolution per minute. But the frequency is revolution, number of revolutions per second. That's why we, we need to convert 60 1600 revolution per minute. One minute equals 60 seconds, right? And we got the answer is 1600 divided by 60, you got 26.7 revolution per second. So also you can write F equals 26.7 hertz. And to looking for the period, T equals 1 over F, we just divide it 26, 1 by 26.7, so reciprocal, we got the 0 0.0375 second. So it takes only 0 0.0375 second to complete one revolution. So we can see an, an object to rotate very fast. The frequency, the number of frequency is bigger because one second rotate very fast to 26.7. That's why its period is very short, right? It takes very less time to complete one revolution. Okay, this is presented by Wise Guys.